Welcome back to the brew house. Today uh, is a transfer day from our first primary ferment bucket. We're going to transfer to our secondary ferment glass carboy. And it's been a week since I started this batch of the chocolate cream. And uh, so we're going to have to sanitize some of our equipment and our bottle and siphon it over. Put a new airlock in it. That's pretty much all there is to it today. Start off pouring some sanitizer into our secondary ferment carboy. and our cork going in here. This foam doesn't bother anything, but drain a little bit of that out. in here. Run some sanitizer through there and the outside of this hose in there some. soak it in here too long it actually will kind of mess with the plastic. It's okay we can be a little messy out here that's what the brew shop is all about. Smells good. Get a picture of that. It's a pretty active ferment, but it's been a week, and it's not good to just leave it. Uh, not good to just leave it there for too long on the primary ferment. So they talk about trying to get the yeast, get the beer off of the yeast. for this kind of carefully and minimize how much air we get going here. If 
Okay, we'll try and lose some of the sludge on the bottom. We've got a lot of yeast foam up on top. So it won't be real clear when we first start in here, but um, this will really help clean the beer a lot. Doing a secondary ferment. Just one more little step. It doesn't take much effort. Another container, a little sanitizing. Just transfer it over there and it'll make a lot better beer this way. So we transfer it over. We got quite a lot of sludge in the bottom there. That's uh, a lot of yeast. Some people would try and scoop some of that out and save it. You can put it in a small jar and put it in the refrigerator. Just save it like a yeast starter for sourdough bread. And if you use it within the next uh, month or two, it's probably pretty good. But you're never exactly sure what you're going to come up with there. So. I just buy new new yeast every time. Our airlock in, it's filled up nicely towards the top, a minimum amount of air space. This was kind of our five gallon mark, so we're just a touch over five gallons in here. So this is going to work out really well. That mixed up, it's pretty cloudy in there. But this is going to settle down and clarify pretty rapidly. We're seeing about 64 degrees or so there. We need to get this warmed up a little bit. And we're on to secondary fermentation. And, uh, you know, it's bubbling away. It'll keep going here for another couple of weeks. And then we'll uh, think about bottling this up and try it out. Can't wait. It smells great in here. All right. Till next time. Thanks.